I just remembered that Joe, the beginning of the video on October 21st, 2020. B-I-D, Ian. I'm just getting started. I'm just giving you a little taste right now. A little. I'm just giving you a little taste right now. I can prove it all day long. And for him to take me and show me that this morning. That. The morning he's talking about is is on October 21st, 2020, Wednesday. This video that you watched, hopefully yesterday, this is part two. See part two? It says right here. Okay, do you know how many videos I've shown you this in? Today is May 3rd, 2022. Tomorrow would be the third into the fourth day of exchanging gifts to one another for the Illuminati's birthday on May 1st. Okay, that's part two. I'm sitting there with Corey and Zach as witnesses because I want you, I want whoever watches, whoever you are, look. I love you in Christ. My goal is your safety. I don't want anything. I just want your safety. I want you to be okay. Sorry, I had to send a text to Bonnie. Uh, uh, a text to Bonnie. Uh, all right. Then she, okay, Virgin Dance. And the I'm sitting there with Corey and Zach as witnesses because I want you... I want whoever watches morning into joy and I will sorry I had to send a text to Bonnie all right May 3rd 2022 2nd 2022 Corey, now I'm going to shut up and I'm going to let Corey talk and Zach talk for a few minutes. Then shall okay, virgin dance and the young men and all, all together. For I will turn their mourning into joy and I will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. Why are they going to have sorrow? They're going to rejoice after the sorrow. But let me get right into this message though. Then I'm going on with Bonnie Harvey, so you might get to hear, if you listen to Hebrew Nation Radio, you might get to hear a few things there that might shock you tonight as well. At any rate, oh, and by the way, let me just quickly let you know this. Uh, you know how the story was going around about the general, the U.S. general that was captured by Russia? Uh, and, of course, I got downplayed, got debunked, all the above, and uh, and I just could not get a confirmation one way or the other for sure. At one point, uh, it looked like it was a lieutenant colonel that was captured. I knew someone was captured, but just couldn't get it confirmed. I did get the confirmation today. It is a lieutenant general. And it is the very lieutenant general that they're saying is not captured, it is the one that's actually captured. Russia is going to Hagar bear Abram a son. And Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bear Ishmael. So Hagar gives birth to a son for Abram. And then notice that Abram is the one who named his son Ishmael. So that shows right here that Abram was able to believe this woman's testimony. The general, the U.S. general that was captured by Russia, uh, and of course I got downplayed, got debunked, all the above, and, uh, and I just could not get a confirmation one way or the other for sure. At one point, uh, it looked like it was a lieutenant colonel that was captured. I knew someone was captured, but just couldn't get it confirmed. I did get the confirmation today. It is a lieutenant general. And it is the very lieutenant general that they're saying is not captured. Is 
captured, taken into captivity. You've been captivated. This is the one that's actually captured. Russia is going to release that individual. That will happen. Uh, Jew and Gentile, or in this case, House of Israel and Gentiles with them. Corinthians, Medes, Elamites, dwellers in Macedonia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, right? Everywhere. All the way out to China, in other words. Has been a huge blessing, especially the story of Hagar. What a beautiful story, Lord, that you rescued my life. My life. It is the very lieutenant general that they're saying is not captured. Is the one that's actually captured. Russia. It's not a man. It's a woman that God appeared. It's not a man. It's a woman that God appeared. So God appeared to a woman who was living a life in sin, and she had no idea that God was the one who was able to give her the water of life freely. Why, God happened to appear not out in the wilderness, but by a fountain of water. Right. I want to show you something. Just go to I just want your safety. I want you to be okay. I serve the king. I am an emissary. And I'm an ambassador of reconciliation to, show you something. to tell you so what are you, if showing you me? want to get reconciled back to the Lord God, your creator, uh, and you don't want to see the horror that's coming on this world, you better make your confession and you better do it quick. That still doesn't guarantee. Isn't that a beautiful guarantee. picture? It's like God, he is deliberate in everything. He didn't just, uh, he just don't do things just out of coincidence. He does everything for a reason. I think that God appeared to Hagar like this because he was seeing in the future that I know what's going to happen. I'm going to appear to a black slave in the future as well as a, a sinful woman who is in need of the water of life. Well, the water's going to recede, and then it's going to rise back up again. So just like on 7, 8, July 8, 2020, I was waiting for the bombing to happen there. It didn't happen, and then for the first time, these fountains of water sprung up from the dry ground. This time, I'm here at Camping's World, the end of the world, Harold Camping, at 17th and JFK. And instead of the water sprouting up from the ground, it stops. He burns the chariot in fire. Be still and know that I am God. The short video clip was made today, October 20th, 2020, after the Lord told me to drive to Camping World this morning because he had something to show me. Camping. This came the day after oh, this came the day after I told the general public you on YouTube. This is one revelation is so profound that it will change the course of the world and what was previously believed about the creation and origin of mankind. The slideshow you will see following the short video clip is to prove that. Ah, a beautiful picture of our God. Yeah. All right, let's look at John chapter 4. What a great God we serve. The horror that's coming on this We're going to look. Because the bride has been making herself ready all this time. I'm For those of us that know, I've known for 20 years the end is here. All this time. I'm For those of us that know, I've known for 20 years the end is here. But now... It's been communicated to me that it is coming right away, okay? So you go to their art museums as...
an earthquake right down the middle. May 3rd, 2022. There you go. So, uh, what do I, I, I do what the Lord says, or what's in my spirit, what a 9.5 magnitude earthquake looks like. Don't forget, the last thing I did before bed is I was like, Lord, if this nuke thing's really about to happen, would you please just make it so clear that I, there's no way I won't know? Ready? We are at the zero second mark of this video. We are at the zero second mark of this video. May 22nd, 1960. Well, 62 later, uh, 62 years later, May 22nd, 2022, Arius takes over at the age of 62 years of what since then? I has been making herself ready all this time. I'm For those of us that know, I've known for 20 years the end is here. But now, it's been communicated to me that it is coming right away. Okay. I cannot emphasize that enough. And tomorrow is the 4th of May. Enough time to exchange gifts to one another, breaking a covenant in the middle of the week. You guys want to say anything before I freak out and cash out? Love you guys. Bye. Love you guys. Okay, big bear hug. Yeah, the bear's around here. I'll do the bear hug later in that. And uh, yeah. I'll go hug my dog. Yeah, we got Bowie over there. He's going to get a lot of all right, well, we love you guys, and got Bowie over there, and he's going to... The first, I came with a bow, but we, and then in the end, I tied things together like a bow. Out. Love you guys. Bye. Love you guys. Okay, big bear hug. Yeah, the bear's around here. I'll do the bear hug later in that. And uh, yeah. I'll go hug my dog. Yeah. We got Bowie over there. He's going to get a lot of hugs. Lots of love. He's still Robin Henry Tees. I know that I am Adam Ben David, Prince of Judah. Four, three, two, one. Continue the Genesis 1 Revelation. 62. The Genesis. Like Darius at the age of 62. Do something. Let's nice go to Janati. Darius B. I want to show you something. It's somebody that's getting ready to get put in charge. And everybody knows who the person is. 62. 62 years ago. Apparently that was, what was that? A, a Hiroshima bomb or something? what a 9.5 magnitude earthquake looks like. Don't forget, the last thing I did before bed is I was like, Lord, if this new thing's really about to happen, would you please just make it so clear that I, there's no way I won't, won't know? Ready? We are at the zero second mark of this video. There you go. That's what I woke up to. Okay, so... So do you understand that... Do you understand... That the very first thing in the morning after my prayer, hey, if there's really this new thing's about to happen, would you make it so clear there's no way for me to miss it? The very first thing I see, I don't even open my emails. I click on that, and that's what I see. So, 666.6667 yards. That's 2,000 feet. So, 2,000 feet. An earthquake right down the middle.
May 4th, 2022. That would be tomorrow, and then the 22nd of May be, uh, what's that, 18 days later? I just noticed this with the, the eyeballs, the tall eyes, and the tall eyelids, and then the two eyeballs at the bottom, the head. The whole thing there looks like Miley Cyrus with her one eye blinking and the other one open, and her teeth. Her tongue sticking out. She looks like her. What is that? Something's like growing up. Then by the well in the wilderness. There's so much rich gleanings here of a sermon. Because a lot. A sermon like on a mound. An earthquake right down the middle. Hagar, you live out in wickedness uh, and you're running away from your problems. And a lot of times you just feel like that everything's hopeless. You're going to die out in the gloom in the wilderness. But God just happened to appear right before you. And then you cry and you're in pain, even though it's your fault. But God still hears your cry. So notice that that's the number 13. It means what? Rebellion. Yep. So Abram's walk was a rebellious walk. So he had to get back right with God again. All right, verse 2. And I will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. So God says, I'm going to make a covenant with, that's between me and you. And, it's, and through this covenant, I'm going to multiply uh, your family, your seed, exceedingly, abundantly. This is the famous Abrahamic covenant that we're going to continue on to. In this Abrahamic covenant, notice it says in verse 3, let me continue, and Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying. So Abram, he bowed down, uh, face to the ground, as God was speaking to him. And this is what God said. Verse 4, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. So God says, uh, as for me, what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do. Look, I, my covenant is going to be with you. And you're going to be a father of many nations. So Abram's not just a father of one nation, but now, many nations. Here we go. That's Look important. Here. Now we go into the book of Acts, as I've mentioned so many times. On the day of Pentecost, when the day of Pentecost has fully come, and all those people of all those nations, remember? The Cyrenes, strangers of Rome. That's not the word Jews and Greek. It's Judeans and proselytes. So it's both Jew and Gentile, or in this case, house of Israel and Gentiles with them. Perithians, Medes, Elamites, dwellers in Macedonia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, right? Everywhere. All the way out to China, in other words. To understand. The Why? Because Abram is going... to. God's going to bless his seed so much that it's not just going to be a physical nation itself. Because the only physical nation that you can get out of this one is going to be uh, the Jews that are included in this covenant. But God, That's really good. So keep up the good testimony. Testimony is so important. Even to a Bible-believing pastor, if a testimony is ruined, that takes away his entire power and everything he worked for. Testimony is so powerful. Never, ever underestimate testimony. Your testimony is worth more gold than a million dollars. Protect your testimony as if it was your very own life. Amen. Because it will gain credibility and trust from other people in the future. Yep. Verse 16, And Abram was fourscore and six years old when Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram. So Abram was 86 years old because a score equals 20 years, so 4 times 20 is 80, and 6 years. When Hagar gave birth to Ishmael, to Abram, that was his age. Now that's important to know. You might say why. Go to Genesis 17.1. Notice the Holy Spirit made a specific reference to that. Why? 
why would it make a mention that Abram was 86 years old? Well, let's say Abraham was 99 years old in the year of 2022. May 3rd, 1923. But being 86, 13 years ago, so I'll subtract 13 years, brings you to May 3rd, 2009. Kim Jean started YouTube Here's the date over here April eighth, two thousand and nine. So when you look at Abraham and Sarah having Hagar as the, the handmaid, the slave, Herod and Pilate became good friends in the end. Abram and Sarah went with Hagar. And then Hagar had a child, which was Ishmael. But not until Abraham was 86 years old. Then when Abraham was 99, that's when God talked to him. So 13 years ago, Kim Jean started YouTube. Hagar, as the, as the female slave, the woman that was already there, She's an existing body. And when there's a birth inside of a system like the YouTube platform, Ishmael was birthed into YouTube back on 2009. Therefore, he's basically 13 years old. So back on 2009, Agar is still the same, still the same, you know, female, but with a different, a different spirit today. Hagar's spirit is different today after having Ishmael birthing into this system. And then all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit gives the age again to Abram. At the very next verse, chapter 17, verse 1. And when Abram was 90 years old and nigh. So now the Holy Spirit mentions, now when Abram becomes 99 years old. Wow. How about that? There's a reason. The Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. So it's Abram to walk they were before all him. Gathered to in Jerusalem. Uh, live uh, basically, quote unquote, Christian right. walk, so to speak, right? The walk what are they of the saint there for? to before him and to be perfect. The day of you Pentecost. And then what happened? We find out that Paul writes here, therefore let all the house, and Peter's saying these words, therefore let all the house and Peter's saying these words. Therefore, let all the house of who? Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus whom you have what? Crucified, both Lord and Christ. So in this system of YouTube, when you got Sarah over there and Sarah and Hagar just weren't getting along very well. Without that mirror, that actor will never know exactly what they look like and what changes need to be made before going out on stage.
Because it will gain credibility and trust from other people in the future. Verse 16, and Abram was fourscore and six years old when Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram. So Abram was 86 years old because a score equals 20 years. So four times 20 is 80 and six years. When Hagar gave birth to Ishmael to Abram. So Hagar, she gave birth to Ishmael as a YouTube channel. So Ishmael has a YouTube channel. But Ishmael is still Hagar. Inside, same person. It's, that's just how I'm interpreting it. Now, when Abram becomes 99 years old, wow, how about that? Exactly 13 years since you started. How about that? Now, here at this moment, have I right now? Uh, the verse says, uh, Now see him who was already seeing me. That's the idea. She's saying, have I now finally realized and saw the one who was seeing me after all this time? Beautiful, beautiful yeah. verse. Amen. Like, I can preach a blowout message or a summer camp sermon on that one. Basi this is so good, guys. Thou, God, seest me. So what she's pointing out right here is this, is that what she's pointing out right here is this, is that basically all this time, Lord, you were the one seeing me all this time. The problem with us today is that we have this imagination. It's always the imagination, the thoughts, the thoughts that the devil tempts us, right? The thoughts that, oh, woe is me, you know, I'm all alone, and, uh, you know, what am I going to do with this problem? Hey, that's, uh, you're not looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. You're not looking at God, who's been looking at you all that time. You're not realizing and looking at the fact that, hey, God's watching me. God's taking care of me. His eye is on the sparrow, as the song goes, and I know he watches me. You forgot that. Basically, that uh, the living God was seeing me all this time. Wow. That's the idea. She was able to live and survive and not die out in the wilderness. Yeah. All right, because you got a God who keeps watching over you. Yeah. Amen. Should be the Egyptian's God. So think about it. I don't know where her faith was all this time, but I can imagine it would make a lot of sense. Uh, all she's thinking about, I'm a slave. I joined uh, Abram's household. So I did get the confirmation today. It is a lieutenant general. And it is the very lieutenant general that they're saying is not captured is the one that's actually captured. Russia is going to release that individual. That will happen. Uh, also, make a lot of sense. Uh, all she's thinking about, I'm a slave. I join uh, Abram's household serving Sarai. Oh, look at me. I have a baby. For one, be doers of the word, not hearers only. If you're just a hearer, you're like a man observing his face in a mirror and goes away and forgets what kind of man he was. Mirror shows you accurately what's happening in your life, on your face. I'm a slave. I join uh, Abram's household serving Sarai. Oh, look at me. I have a baby. And I, I think I'm better than Sarai. Maybe if she believed in God all this time, she would have had more of a humble heart, right? That God's the one blessing me with a child. But it's just going to die out here. I'm going to run away from everything. But then she obviously heard about Abram's God all this time. She saw her mistress Sarai, Abram, always praying, uh, loving the Lord, taking time to meditate on him. And then, but she's like, I'm a nobody. She probably sees that every day. And she says, why would their God want me? I'm just a slave. I'm from Egypt. <laughs> Here she is. And bless God. Praise the Lord. She's just uh, nobody out there in the wilderness. And God appears to her. Why? God could have just left her alone and died. After all, she's just a slave. There are plenty of other slaves. Look at that. You need to be 
need to see Jesus smile at you. Lord, jeez. You need to see Jesus smile at you and say, let me give you a big hug. And then... I don't even know how I ended up at your church, Kim. This is, I guess, an algorithm. How did I end up in anybody's church? How did I find you guys? Isn't there a whole bunch of other people on YouTube? Like millions of just pastors, you know, online. How come how can you guys seem to show me you, that you run the planet? <laughs> she probably sees that every day and she says, why would their God want me? I'm just a slave. Wow. I'm from Egypt. And here she is, and bless God, praise the Lord. She's just a nobody out there in the wilderness, and God appears to her. Why? God could have just left her alone and died. After all, she's just a slave. There are plenty of other slaves. This, I guess, an algorithm. How did I end up in anybody's church? How did I find you guys? Isn't there a whole bunch of other people on YouTube? Like millions of just pastors, you know, online. After all, she's just a slave. There are plenty of other slaves. Not only that, you got to realize this. Why would God appear to Hagar when uh, he wasn't the one, it wasn't his will for Hagar to have a child anyway through Abram? God could have just let her die. And then teach Abram a lesson. See, I told you that didn't work. Let's start a new seed. Isn't your God a merciful God? He, he, he saw the pitiful state of this woman and of this woman. He says, I've been watching you all this time. Wow. And she lived. <laughs> What a beautiful picture of today. You guys seem to show me you, that you run the planet. ...and help other people in pain to make sure other souls get saved. God just has one. 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 It's, I'm going to give you a big blessing that you won't regret. I'm going to turn this all around. You don't tell yourself that. You don't look at that. You know, I always get upset at Paul. I feel like Paul's the cheater. The reason why he went through, was able to bear all the suffering is because he saw God face to face cheering him on. But that's the problem. Right, My folks, problem God is, is that, you, to this you know, is this I don't need to see him face to face to have him tell me that. that I, I have yet. his word. Yeah. I just never made it alive to me. That was my problem. I just never made it alive to me. She probably went back when she left the wilderness. All she was probably singing was, I'm just a sinner saved by grace when I stood condemned to death. He took my place. Man, that's a beautiful picture. Verses in Luke 24, 32, and they said one to another, did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way and while he opened to us the scriptures Amen. cut you off from church immediately you don't realize if you don't think you're that special all right that you're that much of a valuable asset to the church know this the devil thinks so even if you don't think so, the devil thinks so. Because he knows that one more person coming in will encourage probably nearly all the church people. Captured, but just couldn't get it confirmed. I did get the confirmation today. It is a lieutenant general. And it is the very lieutenant general that they're saying is not captured. One more person coming in will encourage probably nearly all the church people.
He wants that church so discouraged, so discouraged, where one person leaves, another person leaves, another person, and then what happens? Finally, the church folds. You need to let the Lord speak to you. You need to let the Lord call you out and say, hey, I'm praying for you. Hey, I will supply all your need. Hey, that uh, whatever you go through in this life will pale in comparison to up in glory. This came us out. Why? Because God usually, before he saves a person, he wants to address their sin problem first. That's why it's important in salvation. We do believe in you cannot skip the first step. You got to realize that you're a sinner in need of salvation. You got to recognize your sinful problem. God pointed that out to Hagar, actually. So, hey, you got a problem right here. Because why? Hagar, he disrespect, he did not recognize that I am Sarah's man. No, remember, she was looking down on Sarai. So it's like God's remind, reminding her. A mirror. You don't always like what you see, but aren't you glad you have one? Because it tells you what you need to do to fix what you have. Whence camest thou? Why? Because God usually, before he saves a person, he wants to address their sin problem first. That's why it's important in salvation. We do believe in you cannot skip the first step you got to realize that you're a sinner in need of salvation you got to recognize your sinful problem god pointed that out to hagar actually so hey you got a problem right here because why hagar he disrespect he did not recognize that i am sarai's maid no remember she was looking down on sarai so it's like god's remind, reminding her so Hagar, what does she say? And she, uh, well, the angel of the Lord said, and whither wilt thou go? So God is speaking to Hagar, where are you going to go? These are good questions to ask yourself when you're in Hagar's position. If you want to be, if you want to have the beautiful story of God saving your life, you can't get your life saved until, and this usually happens to a lot of addicts, until they find God or a lot of them get saved, is 13. Verse 13. And she called the name of the Lord that spake unto her. Thou God seest me. Now notice right here that she is speaking to God. When you're speaking to God, you're praying, right? And she called the name of the Lord that spake unto her. Thou God seest me. Now notice right here that she is speaking to God. When you're speaking to God, you're praying, right? So if that's what it is, notice that the phrase is, she called the name of the Lord. That's why it's important to understand you're going to get these people who just teach, the, who just make a big deal about this when it should not be made a big deal until some pride, prideful so-and-so start to want to get attention for himself and then they start to make a big deal out of it. They get learned from they learn from great Bible-believing teachers, even graduate from the school. Then they get to prideful mode by nitpicking certain doctrines and causing trouble to those Bible-believing teachers in return. And then what they do after that is when they get caught red-handed for their criticisms of Bible-believing teachers, they erase all evidence and pretend they're one of us. That's hypocritical. I don't like that. You could be in agreement with me, brothers and sisters in agreement with all my brothers and sisters. Heavenly Father, we praise you. We ascribe all glory and praise and blessing and majesty unto you. We love you so much, Father. We hand over our mind, our heart, our whole being, our affection, all unto you, Father. Oh, Father, we pray in the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, in agreement with my brothers and sisters, that your word, your will, your desires, your intentions be made manifest in all the earth as it is in the heavens. Give us this day our daily bread, Father, and forgive our sins, Father. Oh, Father, we love you. We praise you. We adore you. We glorify you. And may your will and your word be made manifest in all the earth and in your children's lives as it is in heavens. In Jesus, in Yeshua's mighty name. Amen. So this is the scripture yeah. I to, and it's Acts 4. And it says, why this arrogance among the nations, these futile plots among the peoples, kings on the earth setting out to war. Prince is making an alliance against the Lord and against his anointed. This is what has come true 
in this very city, Herod and Pontius Pilate made an alliance with the pagan nations and the peoples of Israel against your holy servant, Jesus, whom you anointed. But only. holy servant jesus whom you anointed uh and i've really got to do a couple of quite a few messages on this and also to debunk uh the one person that keeps trying to constantly um well just coming against me on the the biblical teachings that i do uh he's a zionist and i was as well so i understand where he's coming from uh, he made this big to-do over a picture that I shared with you guys about uh, underwater aliens, and uh, uh, he was making it look like I was making this like some kind of ancient artifact. No, I actually said is a picture that was sent to me, and uh, in fact, the friend that sent it to me was trying to give me an idea of what they look like, and so it was the closest thing he'd come up with to show me. Uh, he would describe it to me, but I didn't know how to describe it to you guys. And so I asked him, was there any kind of picture, anything that we could get that could at least give some kind of depiction of that? At um, any rate, it's, it's amazing. And, and what really gets me is because, and I'm going to have to do it that separately, because that's from a teaching video where I'm going into the reptilian issue, going into the the serpents, the serpents, the sa Satan himself, who is a Nahash in the Garden of Eden. Uh, he is a reptilian devil. He is a demon. And this is what's coming against us. This is what Jesus wounded the head of the serpent for. Uh, but you got to remember, that serpent also bruises the heel. Not just of Christ, of them. That is in the plural there. But only to bring about the very things and the peoples of it. This is what has come true. In this very city, Herod and Pontius Pilate made an alliance with the pagan nations and the peoples of Israel against your holy servant, Jesus, whom you anointed, but only to bring about the very thing that in your strength and your wisdom have had predetermined should happen. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and help your servants to proclaim your message with all boldness by stretching out your hand to heal and to work miracles and marvels.